Hi everybody, Marley here with Tracker Catfishing. So Joey and I have a tournament tomorrow, and so I wanted to make a video to show exactly what we do to prep when we go catfishing. So the first thing that we have to do is catch some bait. So I'm here at the Cheatham Dam now, gonna try and catch some skipjack. Joey's preference when it comes to bait is fresh skipjack, and if he doesn't get any of those then we have some frozen in our deep freezer but his preference is fresh skipjack so i'm going to try to catch them we'll keep them on ice overnight and then use them tomorrow and we usually take our frozen skipjack just in case we run out so i'm here i'm going to get out and i'm going to try to catch some skipjack and we'll see how we do update i didn't catch anything but a rock so now since joey's off work i'm going to go home and i'm going to get him and the boat and we're going to go back to the Cheatham Dam and get closer to the dam because the skipjack are where the water's rushing, which is up there by the dam and not by where I was. Stay tuned. Hey guys, with an update, went and got the boat and this guy and it was well worth the drive back home because we're over here at the wall at the Cheatham Dam and we've already caught like 15 in 30 minutes. So I'd say it's been a successful trip so far. So we're going to continue to catch them so that way we have them for tomorrow's tournament. So stay tuned and I'll show you the rest. All right guys, this is our weapon of choice today for skipjack. So the white curly tail grub, I think these are quarter ounce. We got three of them tied on. That's all we're using. Good skipjack. It's number 18, I think. No pressure. Okay, so now we're going to go over how we prep these skipjack to freeze. Um, what I've done is researched all kinds of YouTube videos and learned from them, and then I've kind of made my own version of it that works best for me. So what I like to do, these things are really fresh. We just came back from Cheatham Dam, got home maybe 15 minutes ago, so these things are still super cold. I actually lay them out like this, and then I'll dry them off. Uh, my wife's going to kill me because I'm using one of her towels and, and little rags, but whatever. It, it's, it's worth it for a fresh bait, guys. So I'll actually dry them off, pat them completely dry, get all that slime and stuff off of them as much as I can at least. And the reason I'm doing this right here, I know a lot of that slime is what helps to smell and stuff when we're actually out on the water. The reason I do this, which I'm going to show you all here in a minute, it's because when we go to put it in this, our little vacuum sealer right here, it, it takes a whole lot of headache out of it when it's not sucking up liquid inside of that thing. So when they're dry, it, it seals way better, which I'll show you all in just a second. Okay, so we got them in our bag. We're going to package these four at a time. They're pretty big skipjack, but I, I have a bunch of them and I don't want to run out. So our vacuum sealer is just a Ziploc. Um, it's one of the cheapest ones you can get at Walmart. This thing's awesome. It's held up for a long time. I mean, two, three years now, and we've, we've done a lot with it. Um, the bags we're using, they didn't have any Ziploc bags. These are the food saver ones. I don't like these as much as the actual Ziploc vacuum seal bag, but they're going to have to do just because we, uh, obviously, they didn't have them. So what I do... Put the edge of it right in here. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. That way I can video this. You stick it right in there. Close the lid. Got a little vacuum and seal. And you can see it starting to suck all that air out. It takes a little bit of time with the smaller vacuum sealer like this one but you see if I wouldn't have dried them off it'd be getting all kinds of juice and stuff going up in there and it messes up the seal on it
All right, so now it's done sealing. We just pop it out. There you go. Sealed nice and tight. And things will last in the freezer for however long you want them.